today I'm going to be talking about uh, catalogs. And we, Stampin' Up! has three catalogs a year. And the January, well, before I get into that, <laughs> let me talk about what Stampin' Up! offers you. Stampin' Up! offers you the ease of crafting. Now, I've got these four projects from our current um, Pansy Patch class. And what you can see is the paper matches, the cardstock, the ink, the ribbon, which we didn't really use any ribbon, but I brought some out just to show you. This is the new soft succulent ribbon. You can see how it goes with the greens in here. Um, this, the inks, we have the new polished pink ink, and then Highland Heather blends. Everything is what I like to call matchy-matchy, which means that you spend less time buying and more time crafting because hunting down the perfect paper to match the perfect cardstock and then the, the ink and embellishments takes a lot of time. But if it's all there for you in one place where you can order it all, then isn't that awesome? So let me clear this away and I'll show you the catalogs. So the star of the show is the annual catalog. It's thick. I have put mine in a binder here, like a rings. So this goes from May 2021 to April 2022. Now, it used to be different, but this year it's they've started a new system with their catalogs. So May of this year to April, end of April of next year, you can purchase any item from this awesome catalog. And in the annual catalog, you'll find all the inks, uh, papers, all the stamps, all the dies, and um, that they are currently offering year round. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for something, you can always look in the index in the back. I use this a lot. So if you know the name of the stamp set, you can look it up in the back. Or if you um, are looking for accessories like ribbon, envelopes, uh, cardstock, trimmer, any of that stuff you can get under the accessories index. And so those, I don't know if you utilize that, but that is definitely something that you do want to utilize. Okay, let's talk about the current mini catalog. You can see it's not as thick. Okay, so it's not as thick, and um, these are good for six months. And in the back of those, you can look at catalog at a glance. You can look at the the new um, bundles are back here. If you want to look find a bundle really quick, you can look back here and find that bundle. You can also find. Um, just stamp sets really quick. You can find um, dies, paper, other types, specialty papers, ribbons, punches, and in like even the blending brushes are back here. So this is a good tool to use if you want to find something quickly in these mini catalogs. And um, so What's in here is not necessarily going to be year round. So this mini catalog is from last year. Last year it went from August to December. This year the mini catalog uh, for the latter part of the year will go from July to December. But with a little bit of a side note here, because of shipping issues this particular year, even though it says January to December, there's a good chance it you won't be able to order from this catalog till August. Um, but it'll have your holiday stuff in it and uh, your seasonal things for the latter part of the year. Lots of goodies um, that you'll love crafting with. Okay, so also with each mini catalog, the first two months that it's good, 
Stampin' Up! offers something called sale abrasion. Sale abrasion. <laughs> and that's um, something that they do um, to, to reward their customers. They um, will have products that you can earn uh, with the purchase. It's usually $50 or $100. So if you spend $50, you might get a free stamp set or a free pack of uh, de designer series paper uh, or embellishments. It changes every year and they have new stuff. So this this year it's going, it was January and February. And then in the, the mini catalog for the seasonal, the latter part of the year, because they're starting late, it will probably be August, September uh, for their celebration. But I, don't hold me to that. I'm just guessing on that. But they will have another celebration with this, this catalog. That's the plan. Okay, so those are the catalogs. Now you'll also know that usually 30 days before one of the mini catalogs uh, retires, where you can't order from it anymore, you will see uh, where they, they will release the items in this catalog that are going to be retired. Now, that gives you 30 days to decide what you just can't live without <laughs> and want to buy. And um, sometimes they discount them, sometimes they don't, depending, I guess, on their inventory and the popularity of the item. So, uh, you will get a chance to buy before it retires. And then usually once it's retired, unless they have a stock left over, you won't be able to buy it again unless you can get it at in a second um, market. Okay, so um, like an online store, like eBay or something like that. Um, so that's the retired uh, items. Um, let me, I, and then also even with the annual catalog, 30 days before the annual catalog retires, they um, will send out a retirement list. Some of the things from this catalog and these catalogs will go into the next annual catalog. Not always though. That's why it's important to pay attention. And then the other thing to remember is if you see something, a bundle, which is a, a way to save 10% when you buy, um, and like I showed you the bundles here in the back of the catalog. Where did you go? Bundles. <laughs> um, I'm too far back. Let's see. Where's my bundles? Well, I'll use this catalog because I know it has bundles in the back here. So these bundles that you save 10% on, when you buy a bundle, you get the stamps and the, the punch or the stamps and the dies. Sometimes a bundle will retire, but not the stamps and dies. In other words, in this catalog, you can get them together and get save 10%, but in the next catalog, which could be the annual catalog, you'll still be able to buy the stamps and you'll still be able to buy the dies, but they won't be available as a bundle. So you'll see that the bundle's retiring, but the stamps and dies may not be retiring. So that's another trick to keep in mind when you're shopping for retired items. The way I look at it, when I when I see a bundle that's retiring, I also check to see if the stamps and dies are retiring. Because what it will do is it'll show you the bundle's retiring, the stamps are retiring, the dies are retiring. But sometimes the stamps might retire and the dies do not. And I think that was the case in the, the new annual catalog with the so sentimental stamps. The sentimental dies did not retire, but the stamps did. So it's, 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 um, you got to be on your toes. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as retired items, you might look to get them. If there's something, uh, that you really, really love that you, just can't live without, but you can't buy it in the catalogs anymore. You can look for it online at like an eBay store. Um, I sell my retired items on eBay. 
as a demonstrator, I'm not allowed to sell anything on eBay unless it is retired. But I do caution you, if you decide to buy something uh, that's retired from eBay or another group, and it may not even be retired, you may see some current catalog pro products in there, which I did when I looked to um, list some items in on, on my account, on eBay account, I noticed that when I searched the name of the stamp set, there were some wannabe um, knockoff stamps and dies with the same name as the Stampin' Up set, but it said unbranded, unbranded. So unless it says Stampin' Up um, in the description, please beware because if it says unbranded, it might have the same stamp set name, but it won't be a Stampin' Up product. And most likely you will not be happy. The stories that I've heard about the knockoffs, um, cheaper, but not, not as good a quality and, and not even as the same size. So I would just say stay away from those and beware of that. Okay, let me see what else I've got to tell you. So that's our catalogs. Oh, there's one less, one more thing here. Um, host codes. You you want to know why do I have to use the host code? Why is that so important to her? Well, let me tell you why. When you use a host code that I have created with myself as the host, which is allowed with Stampin' Up. Um, now I'm trying to find my page. I earn host code rewards. Now on in the new catalog on page 170 for the annual catalog, it has the, um, so it's like I'm having a party and I'm inviting you to my party and you're buying stuff and you're using my host code. So as the host, I'm going to earn free products. Even though I'm a demonstrator, uh, this is a perk for a demonstrator that Stampin' Up! allows. So you purchase something uh, using my host code and I earn free products. Well, what do I do with those free products? Um, I turn them into um, cardstock, uh, embellishments, paper, ribbon, and I make up my kits for you guys. So if you don't use my host code, <laughs> I don't earn any rewards and then I, I usually, I can call Stampin' Up and ask them to put the host code on if I know that you're a customer that wanted to use the host code and is expecting to get my uh, kit. And they're very kind about it, but I, I, it, I do feel bad <laughs> calling them and, and asking them just to put that host code on your order. But I can do it, but it's better if you do it when you order. So this tells me if you look at the party sales and then the percentage of the sales I get in rewards, then that will help you know how it is that the more I, I sell each month, the more rewards I get. And that means the better kits I can make for you. So, and sometimes I use, if it's over what I need for the kits, I use it to buy prizes for my Take Your Pick Tuesday or giveaways. So. I always give it back to you guys. Okay, so that's that. Um, now, host code, where can you find the host code? I am going to bring in this, and I hope that the picture will show. Okay, so um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, this is a picture of our um, Create and Share group. And this is in the announcements. Uh, actually, no, this is, yeah, this is the Facebook. Okay, so here's my host code. And if you look here, here's a link. Use this link when purchasing. Let me bring it up just in case you can't see it. <laughs> you see this number here, K-E-3-G-R-W-N? It is the same as this one right here. So if you click on this link and it takes you to Stampin' Up, 
guess what? It's automatically going to fill in your host code for you. Now you can check it when you get to the checkout screen, but uh, it should pre-fill you. If you if you use my links that I put in my emails, on my website, and in my Facebook post, you're going to be you're going to be set because it's going to pre-fill your host code for you. Um, here's my website, Carol B. Crafts. You can always check my website for the current class kit that I offer, the dates that I'm offering it, and the host code. And guess what? If you click here to shop, it's going to take you to Stampin' Up! and it's going to put that host code in there for you. And I sure hope that you guys can see this because <laughs> I, I, I can't see what you're seeing. Um, so that's important. Um, if you can help me out by trying to use my host code and you can always email me if you don't know it, uh, any, you know, I'll get, when I get the email, I'll let you know exactly when, um, that you can get it. Now, um, let me look at my list. So at the Stampin' Up! website, when you go in there, it, it, it will show you shopping with Carol Borgeson. Okay, um, you can go over here to sales and special, click on the plus sign, and then you'll see bundled savings and clearance. And the clearance items are usually retired items that they have excess for, and you can usually get some really good deals with those. So you might wanna always check out the clearance before you pay for your items, just to see if maybe there's something there that you would like. Now, if you want to um, find an item, you see this little, um, I guess that's like a magnifying glass. That's the search feature. And when you get, when you hit that search feature, you can put in either the name of the item that you're looking for or the six digit item number. I'm always good to, to supply you with item numbers so that you can, um, you can easily purchase the items that you want. Okay, I think that's it. Let me go back to Facebook and see if you guys have any questions because um, <clears throat> I would be glad to, um, Okay, so I'm seeing comments now. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I, I have not seen all of these up until just now. So thank you for your comments and um, happy Monday to you guys. Let me check my notes. I don't want to forget anything. So I, I covered a lot um, and I, I, you might want to watch this and rewatch it um, just in case. I think I covered everything. <laughs> So thank you for joining me for my More About It Monday. So now you're all set to shop with me and shop Stampin' Up! and shop the sales and get, get um, all your crafting needs that you have. I guess that's all. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. And I will see you tomorrow face to face. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining me. Bye.